So, first for the face, I'm thinking I'll do the skin and everything first before it. Oh no. No, I don't think I will actually. Because I want to create quite a glowy like eye as well. I think I might do the eyes first. So, for the eyes, I'm thinking I'm going to take along the lines of like what Kim had, even though this isn't like a Kim K kind of look. I'm going to do like a glitter to kind of reflect that kind of glowy look as long as well as using like smaller products to get that glossy kind of lid look like the glowy skin, bronzy skin, kind of glowy goddess is really like my vibes for today. So for the eyes first, I think I might do like a light priming. I'm going to chuck on some of my MAC paint, um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So just on a thin layer like so, just something to cover up any of the veins and redness on the lid. So for today's transition, I'm going to grab my Zoeva um, Caramel Melange palette. So I'm going to take the shade, uh, probably actually the two shades, Start Soft and Alchemy, just on a fluffy brush. This is the 221 Soft Crease from Zoeva. And I'm just going to apply that on the outer and inner corners, kind of creating a rounded eye. So really just leaving the centre of the lid bare and just taking it from outer like, and like inner corner like and then bringing whatever's left through the crease area. Just so it's like a light wash of those browns. The eye look I'm feeling is going to be pretty simple but effective. So to kind of map out where I want the highlight on the lids to be, I'm going to grab the shade wax paper, which is a matte white, and just place it on with a classic shader brush from Zoeva. It's the 232. And just going back in with a bit of Alchemy and Start Soft just to bring it back if there's any harsh lines. Just transition it into that wax paper shade. So for that kind of like glossy lid effect, I'm going to first of all take my Kevin Aquan um, Diamond Eye Gloss in the shade Moonlight, I believe, and I'm just going to place this on the very centre of the lid. I even like tapped it off on the back of my hand and then I go in with the excess just so it's not too much, otherwise it'll start to have it sliding around on the lid and that's not pretty, like all your makeup will start to slide. Um, so I'm using, using just a touch, just a smidgen. And I've just kept it on the lid, I didn't want to place it on the brow bone. Um, I've got a kind of a different idea just for a brow bone highlight. But for now, I'm going to do a few different kind of glittery techniques. I thought it was off Desi, which was a really great tip. To get that kind of like dimension in the lid, you use different glitters. So initially I'm going to take my Gorgeous Cosmetics eye shimmer in the shade Diamond. It's this beautiful, beautiful like silvery, silvery iridescent shade. I'm just going to lightly pack that on the centre of the lid over the eye gloss. And I'm making closest to like the lash line, the very centre, the most pigmented. And it can just fade out. But I do want like this spot right here to be the most like boom. Then I go in with the pigment from Makeup Geek in the shade Sugar Rush. And I just lightly, lightly place this. Um, on the very center of the lid and up towards the crease area and like toward the brow. It's quite like an iridescent -y shade, so I do quite like it. And lastly, for the glitter, I'm actually going to take this chunky kind of silvery glitter, just a couple pieces, because it is quite like chunky. I don't want it to be too intense. I mean, it's meant to imitate a glossy, glowy effect, not like. A glitter and instead of using like a lash glue I'm just going in with a bit of that Kevin Aquan like eye diamond d stuff the um, gloss and just applying it here and there over the center of the lid just lightly Kind of like that. Just do like a little bit of like a, a line of glitter up the center of the lid. So for my brow bone highlight, I think I might take a couple shades. One first is a bronzy shade. I'm going to take the Star Glow highlight from the Violet Voss Trio and place that all over the brow bone initially, just with a pencil brush from Zoeva. 
And then to make the highest point of the brow really pop, so when you look, it's going to be right here. I'm going to take the shade Moon Gleam from the Highlighting Trio. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it is such a popping highlight. It's so pretty. Just so like glow just trickles down all over the center. So when you turn your head, it's always there. Um, for mascara and lashes today, I'm going to take my Colossal Mascara from Maybelline. And then uh, lashes, I'm going in with House of Lashes Temptress Wispies. So that'll be it for the eyes for now, just until I like, like, do my concealer and everything first. And I can finish off the bottom lash line and everything for you guys. So for the skin, I'm going to first of all go in with like a beauty oil kind of thing. I'm going to take my Mavox Vitamin C Serum and place that just a couple drops over the face um, just to give it a bit more hydration to it because it going into winter it's feeling a bit more dry so I just focus it more so um, where I can feel it's quite dry like the outer edges of my face I don't put too much on my forehead like I said I'm more oily so I don't want to have too much oil sitting there and tending to cake up and look greasy there's a difference between glowy and greasy so I prefer the glowy so to get the really bronzy, glowy look, I'm actually going to grab my foundation and mix it with some of this Natasha Denona Glow Body Glow in the shade Medium. I know this is for the body, but I mean, it's so pretty. And I like, I've been using it on my face and it hasn't broken me out or caked up or anything like that um, during summer when I wanted a really glowy skin look. So I quite enjoy this product. And for foundation, I'm just going to grab my Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Medium Beige. And I just mix them together on the back of my hand. I usually do one pump of the Natasha Denona and then two pumps of my foundation. And it just makes your skin look so glowy and pretty. I love, love, love these two together for a glowy look. And then I'll grab some of the Natasha Denona and place that onto my body. Just on the decklish area. And next I'm going to place on some cream bronzer before I go in with concealer. Just because if I am too heavy handed on the bronzer I can always just conceal up where I need to. So I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick and place that on the perimeters of my face. Just naturally, anywhere where we'd naturally hit the sun. And I like to contour my nose with this as well. And give the jawline a bit of structure as well. And then just buff it in with my beauty sponge. Oh, I'm loving, loving my base at the moment. It looks so good and so glowy, which is what I want. So I'm going to highlight and conceal my skin with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. So I'm just going to apply this under the eyes, um, anywhere, like in the center of the face that I want to highlight, and under the cheekbones to contour a little bit. And I'll just go with my beauty sponge again. Same one and just blend it out. And I'll blend out my nose last so that the concealer sets in the most there. So now I've got all the creams that I want down on the skin. It's time for like the powders. So I'm initially going to take just a pressed powder. I'm going to take my press powder from Raw Cosmetics in the shade Nude and just press that into my skin with a dry beauty sponge this time. And I'm only applying it on the concealer areas. I don't want to apply it all over the face and lose the glow. So I'm just applying a little bit under the eyes, center of the face where we applied the concealer just to set it and snatch those cheekbones. Oh yes honey. So for the bronzy glow next, I'm going to take a different palette than I usually go in with. So I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant palette and I'm going to go in with a couple of bronzy tones. I mean, it's all bronze, let's be real. But I think I'm going to take the shade, the two bottom shades. They look really nice and bronzy and glowy. I'm just going in with my bronzer brush from Chi Chi. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love these. I haven't used them in so long. I'm keeping my forehead bare. I'm literally just applying it here and to the high points 
above the brow keeping like the center of the forehead like untouched because I don't want a glow there it would just look oily and greasy for me and I'm gonna bring these down the neck as well and onto the bod the decolleté areas and for a proper highlight today just on the high points of the cheeks and I'll bring it onto my body and like keep its bow and stuff like that I'm going to take those two highlight shades that we used in our brow bane, um, Star Glow and Moon Gleam. Placing Star Glow on first, the medium shade, as like a base. And then we're going to go on top with that really blinding highlight, um, Moon Gleam. And also placing Star Glow as my inner corner highlight. Not Star Glow, sorry, Moon Gleam, that really blinding one. And going in with Star Glow, it's like a base to get that bronzy tone in there, and then taking Moon Gleam and just getting that blinding highlight there. And I just went in with some of that All Nighter Setting Spray to just lock everything in place. So to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take a nude eye coal from Models Prefer and just apply that to my waterline. And then I'm going to take some of that Alchemy and Start Soft shade from the Caramel Melange palette on a pencil brush and just kind of wiggle that closely to my bottom lash line. Just kind of doing the inner and outer corner. I kind of want to keep this area bare. I think I might do a highlight there as well. Make sure to connect it to your top lid area so there's no harsh defined gap. I'm just going to take some of that like diamond pigment from Gorgeous Cosmetics and just drag it down and kind of triangle fading out towards the bottom of the eye socket. So I want the most pigmented near the lashes here and then it just tapers down. Taking whatever's left on that pencil brush and buffing the edges. And then for bottom lashes, I'm doing the smidgiest coat of mascara. This is the colossal one that we used in our top lashes before. Just to give them a bit of definition, I don't want to lose too much of that, that highlight there, so I'm just kind of doing a light coat. Since I'm here, I might as well do my lips. I'm going to keep it nude and glossy today. I just want to kind of keep it very skin and glowy focused with this look and like eyes. So I don't want the lips to be too much of an attention seeker kind of thing. So I'm going to take my lip liner in the shade Natural 049 from Rimmel. And just overline my lips slightly and fill them in. It's such a nice colour on its own. But for the lip colour, I think I'm going to go in with a couple, like, lipsticks just to kind of get that ombre lip so that, you, again, you're getting that glow, that different dimension to it. So first of all, I'm going to take Clear Message from Zoeva. And then over top, I'm going to take my Dose of Colours lip gloss to give that glossy effect as well and also get that ombre look. And apply that to the center of my lips. Then I go back in with a bit of Moon Gleam and apply that to my Cupid's bow. And a touch to the bottom lip. So finally to get that kind of wet look to the skin, I'm going to grab again some of my Kevin Aquan Diamond Eye Gloss and apply that to the high points of the cheeks where I want it to kind of look wet. And even to the tops of the brow. It even makes that highlight look more realistic and less powdery or just more skin-like. I tap it off on the back of my hand first and then apply it so it's not so intense. Because if you have too much of this, it's going to slide around and disturb the makeup. You only need a touch, just a little bit. Into the chin, just to the points where you catch that light. 
basically just applying it everywhere. <laughs> Again, avoiding the center of my face, like my forehead and things, where I don't want to look greasy. And again, I'll just finish off by spritzing my face with some of the Urban Decay All Nighter. And that finishes off the makeup look. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And subscribe down below to my channel so you guys can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. And leave any requests that you'd like to see in my upcoming videos or any tutorials or videos you'd like me to film for you. And I can surely do that for you. Anywho, I'm going to let you guys go. Have an amazing week. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.